Hello YouTube, Joshua Kylan here with a special event at our harvest show. Uh, this is our first ever hay ride. Technically it's our second week, but uh, of course I'm getting, trying to get a glove on because it's cold as heck. Um, yeah, sorry for the shakiness, but yeah, this is where you park. I'm gonna do a walk around. Um, got a light plant over there. Um, uh, parking. <clears throat> um, this, we decided to do another event besides just the autumn show. I'm on my phone, so don't worry. Um, you got plenty of parking. A lot more space than Bentleyville. Bentleyville has been crowded for the past a while. Um, you got nice parking, then you got a nice ticket booth. Uh, six bucks gets you in the door, and then you get a dollar off coupon when you leave. 12 and, uh, and under are free. Um, there's the new diner over there. Say hi. Um, got the water tower nice and lit up. Of course, this is the first year. Then we got a tree there. Um, then over there is just we're gonna end up putting more lights up this is just of course our first year we got heated biffies over there yes they're he heated that's why you hear the generator in the background yeah I lighted uh sleigh with logs and then happy holidays and then a uh santa and then here's the blacksmith uh Say hi to YouTube, Josh. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that's my one of my new friends. Uh, he's a blacksmith. We got a uh, core sport, but normally uh, we would have a uh, kid show playing. Then we got the uh, the Jesus baby. Then here's the our new diner. Uh, Concessions, uh, we got hot chocolate, popcorn, hot dogs, chips and hops, hot cider. Uh, as you can see, much better. I don't think I ever showed uh, inside the boxcar. Um, then this is another one of my friends who is out doing something is this is my friend's uh, uh, hunchback blacksmith, um, Sven. Uh, he's trying to make a, a, a website and blog, sort of. Then he has fire pokers, a uh, Swedish mess kit, Insta fire grate, and he also makes knives, uh, antler fire steel, Flint striker, paracord. He has a bunch of other stuff he also makes. <laughs> this is what we have to offer at the at the concessions. Uh, we will have the inside uh, drywall pretty soon. Uh, now back outside. Uh, as you can see is the hayride itself um, yeah we have a ramp that we use for loading and unloading of the uh, hay racks we have two that require this and they're pretty big they can hold quite a few people quite a quite a few then you got photo opportunities you got the snowman and a cup of good cheer this is my uh, friend Ed's John Deere Model B, 1947. And then a, uh, another hay wagon. Uh, that You got the Noel candlesticks on the end. Then you got music. Uh, then we got the uh, fire pits over here. Uh, we have a couple more, but they're not... Uh, uh, being burned but we got a couple fire pits we got the general star all nice lit up then the star 
on top of the large water tower. Then we got uh, two other hay racks over here. A small one uh, that we use. Uh, yes, I am using my headlamp. Uh, That's the smallest one, but it does the job. Uh, of course, the slow moving vehicle sign. Then, running off the farm hall, the uh, McCormick Palmar IH. Uh, this is an interesting experiment. Uh, basically, he's running two six volts to power the inverter. Batteries, positive ground. So he takes the positive off the negative, off the starter, hooks it up to the positive, then it was running the inverter off the negative, and then the other is hooked to the positive ground of the of the chassis to get your 12 volts. And he also has a six volt battery charger charging this one, and this one trickle charges the whole lot. Then we got another hay rack. Uh, powered by a generator. It was powered by a, a battery, but we changed that out. Uh, another large one for loading. Uh, there isn't there isn't a lot of people uh, here at this moment. We got parking over here. Uh, as you can see, a lot different during our August show. Uh, I'm just walking sort of all over the place. Uh, we got ice cream, I believe, the popcorn shack. Nice dressed up. We got Santa in Santa's cabin. Say hi to YouTube. Hey, hey, hey shut the door. Come on. Yeah. Um, Bare legs, and no underwear, and all that, you know. Hold on. Ho, ho, ho. How you doing? How's the generators? Just fine. That's another thing I got to talk about. My generator, my inverter, is also actually out in the woods, powering the two deer. Uh, we got one of the tractors lit up. Uh. uh Yeah, so we got snowman driving the tractor, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. And the lights on the wheels are, are just battery powered. And the lights on top are, and the snowman are powered by the general store. Um, yeah, and then, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a faint light uh, thing in the, in the background that is actually the deer that my inverter generator is powering and oh my god look at those stars <laughs> yeah and we got lights uh for uh just so you can see your way around yeah this is actually yeah i'm sur surprised how much we uh we got done in two months of course i really didn't help but it was a group effort, and I've been out just general helping, sort of. But, yeah, we got heated buffies, which is nice. We got a generator on the other side of the logs by the sawmill. Uh, yeah, and we got a star, stars on the trail. Uh, actually, why don't we uh, go walk out and see my inverter? Uh, and it's a little bit of a walk. Uh, there's that other generator. It's a conventional type. Yeah. Yeah, there's quite a bit of snow. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's, it's so weird being out here in the winter. Because this lot normally doesn't get used until the August show. And instead of trying to bank on just one show a year we're trying to expand 
and this is one of the one of the things that we're expanding out to which is very nice uh yeah the snow is pretty much turned to ice now we got a bunch of stuff over there which is from the august show yeah we so far we have had about 211 people come through the for the hayride which is pretty good for the first year and we didn't like for our show we had two and a half inches of rain that saturday and then it was basically mud fest on sunday so majority of the people came out to, uh came out on friday it was nice and still there was quite a few people uh that came out on saturday even though we had two and a half inches of rain and the parade was canceled on sunday let's just say where the vehicles uh uh you can see the deer now where the vehicles would drive for the parade was a complete mud fest uh now th those are the stars that i'm talking about there's one right there uh yeah so this is just another way so we can sort of keep our show going without having a bank on say if we had a bad year two two years in a row we would basically be sunk wise because we have we keep enough money in the bank to cover two years of bad shows which is good financial practice uh yeah over there is a power line uh, that runs through our property uh yeah this i always walk I sometimes walk back here just to check on the generator. Uh, you can hear it a little bit. That's yeah, that's the inverter running. Uh, yeah, the trail goes off more. So we have. Oop! I hate the trees. We have. Uh, Two deer, right, or three deer. Uh, a baby, a mama, and then a, a buck. Uh, and there's my inverter. All happy as a clam. <laughs> yeah, so that thing's running just fine. I just switched the, the flex power on the off. You heard it rev up and uh, switch it off. And then uh, it, it idled back down. A little nice spot, uh, sort of, in the woods. I, the reason why I have it this way, so that the green light doesn't show, so it is more hidden, so to say. But, the engine of the tractor basically muffles the generator itself. And next year we're planning on having uh, stuff out in the field and having a loop, not a backtrack, because this is the single way we uh, get in and out and we turn around in the second field. Uh, it is windy and it's cold. And as you can see, the moon's out. Not sure how well you can see. And it looks like Ed's out for uh, another drive. Yeah, so that's basically our little bit of a arch, basically our first year hay ride and uh, my inverter generator. And then there's Ed. Uh, you should have seen him before his uh, other light burned out on his tractor. He did replace it. It basically was a freight train light <laughs> or a steam locomotive light. It was so damn bright. Holy cow. Uh, 14 minutes. Yeah, it, it's pretty cold out. There's another one of our 
snowflakes. And there's Ed. It's bright. And it's about a 20 minute to 30 minute hay ride. Uh, then you got some antique farm, uh, antique iron over there. Yeah. Yeah, it's so small from back here. And the first night when we came back, when we uh, left to go put my, to put the generator out, smoke was going straight up and blow, getting blown over like a steam locomotive. That was pretty interesting. Nonetheless, uh, we're planning on putting more lights over here, so. Say hi to YouTube! That's basically uh, what the hay ride uh, looks, looks like. And we got some uh, iron over there, or tractors I should say, and some implements that aren't being used of course. As you can see, it's winter out. So, yeah, that's basically our first year for our hay ride. And let me tell you, it's a humdinger. Uh, yeah, my legs are cold as heck. Of course, it's pretty windy out. And, yeah, so, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And, uh, please, uh, please like, and I'll see you. Yeah, hope you like it. Bye.